Yes, I started a six book series at the end of the year. Yes, I probably will read through all six books straight through. Hey everyone, my name is Amanda and I'm the Fun Size Reader. And today I wanted to talk to you about Broken Bonds by Jay Bree. Oh, okay. Uh, a friend of mine texted me and I'm a sucker for this. She texted me and was like, you have to read this series. I love this series. I read through all six of the books super quickly. You need to do it. I was like, I'm busy. I've got things that I need to read. I don't know when I'm going to get to it. Well, I got to it. <laughs> I started reading book one at the end of November. Literally, I did not think I was going to finish it to fit into my November wrap up, but I did. I finished it. And now I have five more books to read because I have to find out what happens. I went into this book completely blind, completely blind. It's kind of hard to give this book a synopsis because I feel like the synopsis should probably be for the entire series. Now, I still haven't read the synopsis of this book. So let me just try to give you like the high points. This is a reverse harem slash why choose, whichever term you like to use. It is a fantasy series. It is dark fantasy, question mark. It is paranormal, question mark. It is about a girl who has magical powers. She is gifted. She lives in a gifted community, but there are non-gifted people also. But her gift is a secret. She doesn't want her bonded, her fated mates, to know that she has a gift because her gift is dangerous. We don't know what it is. We don't know why. We know that people are after her. We don't know why. We don't know who. There are a lot of questions that start you off. You literally are dropped in. There's no explanation. The world building goes along with you, the reader. But it also is a world very similar to ours. So there's colleges, there's universities. It's basically like magical realism. And her big problem is that she ran away. She ran away for an unknown reason to an unknown lo location and won't use her gift anymore because her bonded, she has five of them. There are five males and one female. She is the core bond, the core person. They all, when they complete their bond with her, strengthen their gifts and her gift also strengthens. So she's trying to keep that from happening by telling everybody that she doesn't have a gift. So like there's a lot going on in this in this book. And I just like tried to give you those little things as highlights of things that would make me want to read this series, because those are all things that kind of intrigued me as I was reading along. But it's very difficult to give a synopsis because I feel like where the book ended, it's unfinished and I just need to know what happens. I gave this book four stars. I really liked it. I feel like there's just, it was not enough. Like I, I wanted more. But it was a really great first book to get me introduced into the series. It intrigued me. It made me want to keep reading. It made me queue up the second one on my Kindle right away. I haven't started it yet, though. I came to record this instead. But I want to know what happens. I'm invested. I'm invested in this series already. And it's only been book one. And we are at the end of the year. And now I have five other books to read. And I'm going to finish an entire series before the end of the year. So that's kind of how I feel about this book so far. Four stars. I really liked it. It was a good book one. It intrigued me. It made me want to read more. And that is the great start of the series. The other thing that was interesting about this is this is a reverse harem why choose book. But there's very little spice, very little spice. And I think that's one of the reasons why I really like it. It is so different from the experience that I had reading The Court of the Vampire Queen that the whole first 200 pages was spice. And I was very not uh, into that. I like books when there's a lot of plot. This book, the plot is building. We're finding out what's happening. We're finding out the characters. We're developing relationships. Relationships are changing. It didn't need spice for that. Despite it being a reverse harem, why choose? I really liked that about the book. I didn't need it to have spice 
to make me want to continue with the series. Now, I know that's got to be coming. Okay. Just based on like the style of the book, it's got to be coming. But I really like that there was not a lot. There was not a lot. I gave this a one. And if you know what a one means on my scale, you'll kind of know what that is. If you don't, I will link the video for you so you can check that out. It's a one. Very low spice, but appropriate for the book. Like it fit. And I was happy with it. Now, because this is a book one, I'm going to really try to keep this spoiler free. I really liked the way that the reverse harem Y choose was done. I liked that there was animosity. I liked that there was not just this overly sexualized relationship. I liked that there was tension. I liked that there was that faded mates bond that we all as fantasy readers know and love. We love faded mates bonds. We are fangirls of faded mate bonds. And she has five of them. And so having that like emotion and feeling that call of the bond as you're reading, but not have it be acted upon. Oh, Mwah. Jay Bree, you did a great job, sweetie. You did a great job. I am a fan of that. And I think this is why I am enjoying this little reverse harem white shoes way better than the last one. I like the slow burn. I like the building up of the relationships. I like enemies to lovers, damn it. And there are five enemies. So this is fantastic. <laughs> I will say I am very much looking forward to the rest of the series. Very, very much. I have seen very good things. And my friend who is a self-proclaimed slow reader said that she flew through these books. And I I will say the same thing. I, I read the first one very quickly. And now that I'm invested in the characters, I feel like I will read the rest of them very quickly as well. So... If you want to read along with me, start the first one, okay? And I will be reading <laughs> probably all the rest of them in December slash January. I was trying to figure out what this book reminded me of. And I couldn't figure it out. I could, it's, it's not dystopian, although it kind of gives me that dystopian vibe. There are shifters. There are other magical abilities that we don't really know. There's like fire elementals and poison and there's training tropes and there's injured comfort tropes. There's one bed tropes like there, there's a lot in there, you guys, that we all love. But I couldn't pinpoint something that I would like compare it to which I really enjoy. I like when things are unique and I felt like this was unique. We are getting a little bit of like resistance rebellion vibes and we don't know a lot about that. So I'm looking forward to learning more about that. And I'm looking forward to continuing to hate, but also not hating all of the love interests. Come on, you guys, like come along for the ride with me. Pick up the book, Jay Bree, Broken Bonds, book one. Like, come along for the ride. Let's let's all enjoy this together. This book is available on Kindle Unlimited, as are all of them. And I do believe it is a completed series. I haven't looked into that yet because I didn't want to see any spoilers, but I do believe it is finished. But I will put the link for this book and the next book in the description down below. Let me know if you've read the book or the series. Let me know what you thought of it. And if not, read it with me. Don't forget, you can also find me on Instagram, Facebook, and TikTok at The Fun Size Reader. See you guys next time.